My era with the Jimmy Young Show was quite a fraught time because uh, it was during the miners' strike. It was when the Belgrano inquiry was going on. It was during the Tottenham riots. So we, we, it was, a, it was, you know, I, I'd actually changed from sort of a knockabout uh, pop music producer into a very serious producer working on a very serious program. Um, we Volt Fass, I think they call it, and uh, and Maggie uh, used to come in, and she was always very formidable. She always phoned up, she always remembered my name, she was always obviously prompted. And um, we, she came in one day, we always used to, the, the, the studios where Jimmy and uh, used to uh, present the show from, were at the back of Broadcasting House, so we always used to bring Maggie in through, through, through the back door so that it uh, couldn't be impressed everybody else out the front door. And uh, this black Jaguar pulled up, you know, opened the door, morning Prime Minister, morning Bill, lead the way, so we're off we go, straight into the Broadcasting House. Now inside, once you get into the Broadcasting House at the back there, there were about 30 diplomatic protection squad people, and now they all had guns, they were all loaded, and they'd they been there for a couple of days anyway, but, well, we never, that was after the, the bombing in Brighton, so, so it was, everybody was very touchy about security. They had sniffer dogs going into the studios and they had plainclothes people wandering around the building days before and it was all very, very high security. And uh, so there's all these diplomatic squad guys all, all tooled up as they say. And uh, so we walked in and uh, straight to the lift, we were only going up one floor. So we got in the lift, there was Bernard Ingham, Bernard Ingham, um, uh, Maggie's uh, personal protection man, uh, and my son. So the door's closed, and I'm chatting away to Maggie, and I realize nothing is happening. The lift is not going anywhere. And I could see out the corner of my eye the commissioner pressing all these buttons <laughs> and, and twisting the key, and I thought, any moment now, that guy's going to break that key off, and we're going to be here for God knows how long. And visions of that Tony, Tony uh, uh, Hancock thing, you know. Let's sing around today, you know. Between <laughs> Maggie Thatcher and Bernard Ingham, you know. So I said, uh, excuse me, Prime Minister, I said, are you having a bit of bother? He said, yes, sir. He said, the lift won't move. And they tested it like five minutes before, but that's, <laughs> that's technology for you. So um, I said, well, well, the door's open. So he said, oh, I, I'll try that. So he press the button, and the door's open. Of course, there's all these 30 diplomatic squads. It's in the days when you can smoke. So they're all lounging about smoking. <laughs> well, that's the last we've seen of her for a while. Right? <laughs> 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 so they said, don't shoot, don't shoot. <laughs> so then we, we went up the back stairs. I said, Prime Minister, there's only one flight. We got up the back stairs. Lead the way, Bill. So off we got up the back stairs. So we got up to the back stairs. And of course, we came out of the door top of the back stairs, and there's the next lot of diplomatic squad people all looking at the lift door. <laughs> We're here, don't shoot! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got through that without getting shot. And uh, anyway, she came in the studio this particular time, and uh, halfway through the show, um, she said to me, oh, Bill, can you get me a a glass of sparkling water. I said, yeah, of course I can, Prime Minister. What else? It was a bottle of Perrier water, so it was. So, and Maggie said, Jimmy, your producer has just given me a French sparkling water. What's wrong with British sparkling water? And she rattled off, straight off the top of her head, about a dozen British sparkling waters. Oh, I sort of crept out of the studio. And then the, uh, the managing director radio rang up. And he said, oh, Bill, when you finish with Maggie, can you bring her up to my office? Because uh, I want to have a chat with her. I said, yeah, well, I said, by the way, I don't know if you've been listening, but I've just been castigated for uh, giving her French sparkling water. Oh, that's a photo. Obviously, it's sent victory out against some British sparkling water. <laughs>